After a sunny but cold day, milder temperatures are on the way. Thankfully, Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo is tracking another winter warm up, and we love it. Kate? We love it. Yeah, temps are on the way up. Tomorrow is a gorgeous day. It's going to look a lot like today, but it's going to feel a whole lot better, about 15 to 20 degrees warmer tomorrow than what we felt outside today. Here's a live look at Center City. Again, we're in the 6 o'clock hour, and even though it's mostly dark, there's still at least a little bit of dusk still remaining in the sky. An indication that, of course, these days are getting longer as we head a little closer to the vernal equinox as we head toward that point in time when the days and nights become equal and then the days start getting even longer than the nights, which is always when we know spring is officially here. 32 degrees in Philadelphia right now feels also like 32, and here's why. The winds are calm. There is very little wind chill effect happening outside tonight, and Without the wind, it's not going to be as brutal as last night. Last night was rough, and this morning, here were the lows when you woke up this morning. It was one measly degree in Allentown and Mount Pocono. It was eight in Millville and Trenton. It was nine even in Atlantic City this morning. Tonight, not anywhere near as bad. Temperatures will cool down to the 20s, low to mid 20s across most of the area, but not a lot of that wind chill that we were dealing with last night, and 20s much better than single digits, right? So it's improvement is the story here this week. Here's what we're tracking. That gradual warming continues each day through Thursday. We're headed back to the 60s, and here's the good news about Thursday. Even though we'll have some rain moving in with the warmth, it's not going to come in until late Thursday night. So Thursday during the day looks dry and very warm, 65 degrees. We will approach that at least on Thursday. The record, by the way, is 68. Then colder air does return by the weekend. But Storm Scan 3 shows there's really a whole lot of nothing until this front, which is all the way back here, starts to get here on Thursday night. We are sitting pretty. So tonight is cold. But not as cold as last night, 23 degrees, mainly clear and quiet. Tomorrow is a beautiful day, not a lot of wind. It is much milder than today by almost 20 degrees. 52, the high for your Wednesday. It's going to feel amazing. Future weather shows, again, it's dry through tomorrow. It's dry through most of Thursday. Here's 1 o'clock Thursday afternoon. Clouds are starting to roll in. You can see that southwest wind drawing in all that warm, moist air. But it's not until late Thursday night, probably not even until overnight, that rain starts to move in. Now, there may be a period of heavy rain around midnight. And then this line of thunderstorms, Probably gusty showers, but can't rule out a rumble of thunder or two Friday morning. That clears, and then temperatures will drop as we head into the weekend, but not dropping as low as today and yesterday. So 52 tomorrow, 65 on Thursday, near record warmth. Friday temperatures tumble through the day. Then it's a chilly but bright weekend, mid 40s, right where we should be, and a fantastic President's Day Monday. If you have a nice long weekend planned, the weather will certainly cooperate. Siafa, back over to you. All right, thank you so much, Kate.